Hey Austin, who are we drawing today? Martin. Yeah, from Wild Kratz. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker, some paper, and... Something to color with. All right, let's get started. We're first gonna draw his eyes. We're gonna draw two upside down U's towards the top of our paper and in the middle. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna draw an upside down U and another upside down U right next to it, right about here. So we draw the first U there and the other one right next to it. I gave you some dots to help you. There you go, and another U. Oh yeah, that's a big eye, I like it. Now we're gonna draw a curve that goes underneath on each side. Yeah, and then one, you did it. That's the shape of his eyes. Let's draw his pupil in the middle. So I'm gonna draw a circle like that, and then color it in, and the same thing over here. He's cross-eyed. Yeah, he's a little cross-eyed. That's okay. That's okay that our drawings are a little different because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to... Practice. Practice. I promise the second time you draw Martin, he'll turn out even better than the first time, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, should we keep going? Yeah. <laughs> Next, let's draw his nose. We're going to draw a J shape. It's going to come down from the right side and then curve around like that. Looks like the letter J. Now let's draw his mouth. We're going to draw a curve underneath. He's happy. And then we're going to draw another curve underneath that goes further down. <laughs> I love your face, man. It's turning out perfect. Then we're going to draw his top teeth. We're going to draw a line that comes all the way across almost and then leaves a little gap. And then we're going to draw a line that connects up to the top. Yeah. Now let's draw a curve in here for his tongue. Now let's draw his eyebrows. I'm gonna start right here above his eye, curve down and then touch on the side. Then we're gonna do another one that's a little higher and comes down and touches in the same place. And then let's do the same thing on the other side, but touch, see how I'm touching on the outside? Yeah. And then we're gonna do the same thing, go up a little higher and then back down. All right, we got his eyebrows. Now let's draw the shape of his face. We're gonna draw a big U, it comes down like this, under his mouth, and then back up. And look, I started at the top, right about the height of his eyebrows. Yeah, <laughs> good. Now let's draw his ears. We're gonna draw a big C shape on the side of his head. And we'll draw a backwards C, the same size on the other side. Oh, you're doing such a great job. How old are you? Seven. Seven. You're doing so good, and you could be super proud of your drawing. Now let's draw the little details inside of his ear. We're going to draw a curve at the top, right here. And then we can draw another smaller C right below it. Now let's repeat that same step over here, but the opposite direction. And then a backward C. And if we ever go too fast during the lesson, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time, you can always pause the video. Let's draw his hair next. We're going to start over here on the left side of his head, and we're going to draw a big curve that goes over his eyebrow. Then we're going to draw a zigzag line that comes over and connects to the right side of his head. It's a really fun line to draw. Looks like a sideways lightning bolt. Up, down, up. Yeah, and go all the way across. All right, we finished the bottom of his hair. Now let's draw the top of his hair. We're gonna draw a curve that comes over the top. So it's gonna come, you can do it one more zigzag that comes past the side of his head. Yeah, and then draw a curve that comes up to here. Then we're gonna draw another zigzag line that comes forward. And then we're gonna draw the rest of the top of his head. And I stopped, yeah, right above. And then we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and touches his ear. Or a line, yeah. And then he's got two pieces of hair sticking out. So let's draw a line that comes out and back down. Little piece of hair. And then let's draw one more that's coming out further to the left. And then back in, <laughs> we did it. All right, Austin, what should we draw next? His body. His body. We're gonna draw two lines that come down from his chin. So we wanna come down and they kind of taper towards his waist. 
Now we're drawing a cartoon version of him, so he's a little different than on the show, and that's to try to keep this lesson a little easier. Now down here at the bottom where his waist is, we're gonna draw a U to connect those two lines, or a curve that comes down and back up. We're gonna draw two lines that come out and see how they're flaring or get further away. Yeah. Then in between, let's draw an upside down V. And then draw a line to connect the V to the outside on both legs. All right, there's his shorts. Now let's draw his legs. We're gonna draw two lines coming out from the bottom of his shorts. And you're getting really close to the bottom of the paper and that's okay, we're gonna have just enough room to draw his shoes. We're gonna draw two lines over here also. Okay, now we can draw his, the top of his boot on each side. So I drew a line that goes past his legs. All right, now this line is gonna be the back of his boot. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes down on each side and you can go, yeah. And then one on, there you go. I like how you added it on this side. Now this foot you could have pointing to the left, okay? You're gonna have both your feet pointing this way. I'm gonna have one pointing to the left and one pointing to the right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm gonna draw shorter lines. You can draw a shorter line right here and also right here. <laughs> then we're gonna draw the top of his boots. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes out and down over here on the left. So you, your boots are gonna point this way so you can actually draw the top going that way. Yeah, just like you did over here on this side. Over and down. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of our boots. So we're gonna draw a line that connects the front of his foot right here to the back of his foot. And you can do the same thing on the other side also. Oh, you did such a great job. Let's add some details to the boots. Let's draw the bottom of his shoes. So another line that goes across. Then let's draw his shoelaces. Let's draw three lines on the top of his boots. One more, there you go. And then we could also draw a line. Maybe this is his socks. You could draw a line on each side. And then let's draw a little loop for his shoelaces that are tied. All right, we finished his shoes, Austin. You're doing a great job. Let's add more details to his shorts. Now we're first gonna draw his pockets. So I'm gonna draw a diagonal line. Yep, right there. And a diagonal line on the other side. Then let's draw a line on the bottom of his shorts. Yeah. And then we're gonna draw a rectangle shape for the side pockets on his legs. And a rectangle shape over here that's connected to the outside, yeah. There you go. Then let's add one more line for the flap on top of his pocket. Yes, all right, we finished his shorts. Now let's finish his jacket. Now his jacket's really cool. We're gonna draw a V right here underneath his chin. And we can draw a little curve inside for his t-shirt. Then let's draw his collar. So we're gonna draw another V that comes down, back up, touches the bottom. Yep, and then back up on the other side. At the bottom, let's add an upside down V that goes up like this and then back down. Up, down. Then we're gonna add three lines on his shirt that's sticking out from under his vest. One right in the middle, and then shorter lines on each side. There's so many lines on his clothes, Austin. Are you having fun? Yeah. There's, I love all these little cool details. Now let's add a few more lines to his vest. So we're gonna add, there's a big circle right in the middle of his chest. Then we're gonna add three little circles above it. So let's first do one right above the big one. And then let's add another small one on each side. We're almost done with his vest. Let's add three more lines up here. One, two, three. Two, three. And let's add those same three lines over here on the right side. 
Ah, oh, his vest looks so cool. Now, what is he missing, Austin? His arms. His arms and his gloves. We're gonna draw a big curve that comes down, and look, it's it stops down here close to his shorts. Yeah, you could go even a little further if you want. I'm gonna draw that same line on the other side. I'm gonna even come down just a little further. Yeah, then we're gonna draw another line right next to it that comes down, look at this. Down here at the bottom, it gets further away. See how it's closer up here? And then down at the bottom, it flares. Yeah, now let's repeat that same step over here on the right side. This is for his arms. Now we're gonna draw a U to connect both lines. There's a U, and we're gonna do a U over here on this side too. All right, we did his arms. Let's make it look like he's closing his fists. We're gonna draw a sideways U right here. Sideways U right here, and it can touch the inside of his arm. Yeah, and then repeat that same thing, but pointed the other direction. Okay, now let's draw his fingers. We're gonna draw one, two, connecting to his thumb. And the same thing on the other side. Next, let's draw his gloves, or the end of his gloves. We're gonna draw four lines. One, two, three, four. Three, four. And then up here at the top, let's draw his sleeve. Okay, let's do the same thing over here on the right side. One, two, three, four. And one last one up here for his sleeve. Awesome, that was so many steps, but we did it and you did such a great job. Now we still need to do one last thing, what is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color and it's gonna look so much better colored in. Now this part, we are gonna fast forward, but you guys at home can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, great job on coloring Martin, man. He turned out really cool. He looks so much better colored in. Yeah. Yeah. We hope you guys at home are going to pause the video right now to match the same coloring. We hope you all have fun drawing Martin. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And who should we draw next? Chris. Chris. That would be way cool. Then we could draw them together on the same page. Mm -hmm. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.